<coughs> What's up guys, Jet34X here, and today I got some zombies gameplay. Um, we have some round one here. This is going to be my Call of the Dead starting strategy. Woo. Um, well, not really just my starting strategy, but the whole entire strategy that I go by. So it's going to be some gameplay. I just said that, but okay. Uh, this is from round one. What you want to do on round one is you want to shoot them eight times in the leg, which is a max, I believe, that you can. And then you want to knife them, and that'll max out your points for that round. So, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, at that time I only shot them six, but whatever. You, you get the point. And, um, so, round one, just like I said, eight times in the leg, knife. Then, um, on round two, you want to go by the M14. That is just because you're probably... I'm going to fail here. You're probably running out of ammo in your pistol a little bit. So uh, you just want to have that M14 just in case. So uh, skip to this clip. Using the M14. Uh, you just want to keep knifing. There we go. With uh, max ammo. This whole pretty much strategy is banking on getting a max ammo for the pistol. Because that will help you get some more kills and stuff like that. Okay. So um, sh you c this time you can shoot them, I believe, 14 times in the chest. Or in the leg and the knife. Or with the M14, what you want to do is you just want to uh, subtract. If you're on round three, you just subtract one. And uh, so that'll be two. And then you can shoot him. That's how many times you can shoot him in the chest. Or you can shoot him whatever round number you're on into the leg. So I could shoot him three times in the leg right now. So um, here, what we are doing is uh, I just opened that. Uh, Barrier, because I was a little caught up. I had lots of zombies down there. And then nuke. You want to try to not get his nuke as much as possible, unless there's maybe one, two zombies left, or there's zero zombies, which would, uh, just for the points purpose. So, yeah. So, now we're on round four. And, uh, we're going to skip here. So, uh, on round four, you see they're spawning and everything. Um, and basically, we're just going to go up here. And I believe we are going to open up these, the, um, st steps, yeah. You're going to open up the steps whenever you have about 4,000 points. You want to open up those steps. And the reason you want to have 4,000 is because you want to have enough to, you know, well, actually, you really don't even need that much. I don't know why I said that. Um, anyway. So as you can see right there, shot him four times in the leg and then knifed him. So, yeah. Alright, turn on the power and we're good to go. So now you have the power on. That was a pretty simple start to get the power on. Um, you know, you don't always have to, you know, shoot him in the leg or shoot him in the chest and the knife. You can kind of just do whatever. Um, so yeah. So this is the end of round four, I believe. Uh, one zombie left. One, two, three, four. Or that's how I shot him three times in the chest, like I said, and the knife. So, and now round five, you want to buy a quick revive. So that's just uh, you know help you. Because, you know, by round five, you've kind of got, you know, weapons, you've opened a few doors, so you kind of just want to buy a revive right right about then. I mean, this is what I do. You guys don't have to do this exactly the way I do, but uh, this is how I do it, if you were wondering. So, and uh, you also want to open this on round five, or six, or, f you know, whatever. And uh, by now, you should have a decent amount of points to, uh, g you know, get you started. So, Yeah. Um, and headshots, they work too if you don't want to, you know, risk knifing. You can always uh, just headshot because it's, uh, I believe it's a two headshot kill for a little bit here. So, you know, that's good. So we're on round five still. And I believe it's right around now that I go get Jug. I have about 6,000 points, and if you're going to do everything I do, you need about 6,000 points. If you want to just go get Jug, you, you don't need as much, but, uh, you you probably need about five thousand I think, or not five thousand, fifty five hundred I believe. So um, but I spend a little bit more here because I grab these semtexes. So yeah, and then you get jug. So now I have jug and quick revive. So I'm pretty much set for a little bit here. Round six, we're skipping to here. Um. Here is where I start the strategy. You want to start in that little cave, 
You want to run out here? And I didn't have any ammo in my guns, so uh, that's why I was throwing grenades. And I tried to grab it there. I failed. So, what I do here is I just run around this little circle so I can go buy ammo for my M14. Because uh, the M14 is actually pretty good for a little bit, um, probably till around six, probably till around six or seven. You can use the M14 until it gets, uh, you know, pretty much unusable. So I got some M14 ammo, and uh, now you just want to run up here. Well, you don't have to run, but uh, get up here. And uh, this isn't the full strategy yet uh, because we haven't opened up some of the doors that we need. But uh, this is all you can do so far. If you followed this strategy to the, you know, how exactly how I did it. So, um, you know, kill as many zombies as you can. You know, if any zombies get in front of you, just make sure you, you know, blast them in the face. You know, come shot them right in the face. Um, and basically you want to stay up here for a little bit. You want to try to fend off as many zombies as you can up at this little area. And I kind of failed right there, but, uh, yeah. So you just want to try to hold off here. Kill as many zombies as you can. Um... Hold, just hold off, and um, if the zombies start to overrun you, just you'll see in a second. You just want to take the zip line, like I do here, and uh, don't do that. I know I got the kill on him, but you definitely should not shoot from the zip line. It doesn't really, you know, it's not very accurate unless you have like dead shot. So uh, daiquiri. So then you're gonna run over here, and uh, this isn't, you know. Since I don't have all the doors open, I can't do this full strategy, but uh, pretty much I hold it off at the top here. So this is pretty much what you're going to do until you have enough money to open up all the doors. Not all of them, but um, a lot of them. So. Insta-kill. Insta-kills, you want to knife. Knife, knife, knife. Unless there's a crowd. If there's a crowd of zombies, do not knife. And this is pretty sweet. If you get a death machine, unless you're being overrun in any way light George up. Light him up like there's no tomorrow. Um, it, it's good if you're near water, obviously, but uh, just light him up with death machines. That's the smartest thing you can do with death machines. You just want to light George up like there's no freaking tomorrow. And, uh, so yeah. And, um, in water, of course, you know, he doesn't really react that bad. So. Yeah, so this is the end piece.